In this video, I shall explain what are Bitcoin faucets and how to actually get free Bitcoin testnet tokens or Bitcoins coins, testnet coins. Welcome to Crypto University, the number one learning platform for everything crypto, Web3 and blockchain. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment. Because of the airdrops and the development activity on Bitcoin, suddenly an old concept of testnet Bitcoins or what we also refer to as TBTC has now re-emerged in the marketplace. And I saw on my Twitter that a lot of people are struggling to basically keep up with that. So the last video I made was to show you guys how to turn the testnet inside your Unisat wallet. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it. I'll put the link in the description. But also, you have to learn how to actually claim the tokens from, from the faucets to do the activities that you need to claim your airdrops. So first of all, let's understand what a Bitcoin faucet is. So when you look at a blockchain like Bitcoin, right? Currently, it's worth 41000 400 and so on and so forth. Great. But if you're a developer, you're trying to build a, an application on Bitcoin and you want to test it. I mean, if you have to actually spend real Bitcoins to do that, that is going to be a very expensive activity because when testing, you might end up making 200 transactions and you might, have, you might not have the money, but sometimes it's also wasteful because you're experimenting. So, the same reason why traders might prefer to use a trading demo account, Testnet allows for developers to build, all right, to build on top of the blockchain without spending real money. So think of a Testnet as a demo trading account. It, it feels like you're doing the real thing that the blockchain can do, real financial activities, but it's basically paper money. Now, the way the wallet works, a Bitcoin wallet has, you know, it should provide you with two wallet mechanisms. There's the on-chain and off-chain. The off-chain is um, what we can call a testnet or um, a demo account. So what I will do now, I will show you guys a few platforms that you can use to claim your faucets. I mean, to claim your tokens, your TBTC. We will use Bitcoin in this case. And number one, there is the most popular one is Bitcoin Faucet. If you just Google Bitcoin Faucet, it's more likely to be the first one, but I'll put all these links in the description below. Now that you have your Unisat wallet, like here, I can copy my wallet address, like so, and I'll go to the faucet, drop a link, and send testnet Bitcoins. Okay. So when I do that, the tokens are supposed to move from, okay, so it seems like it, uh, it worked. It's, it says here, the transaction of 0 0.0001 coins has been placed and it's basically it's sent. It would take some time to show, oh, there we go. We have already received them. So you can do this as many times as you want. However, the testnet is not completely useless it still need to be sort of verified. It has to function as a blockchain. So sometimes there are so many people using the blockchain and it makes it so difficult to, um, to claim. You might find that this platform says that, hey, you, we don't have, our current network is busy so we cannot give you more tokens. So all you have to do is to find another faucet that will give you the tokens. And here's another one you could use. I'll put the links in the description. This is another one you could use. And there's also another one. And you have to remember, testnet Bitcoins are free. Nobody should ever make you pay to actually receive them. Here's another website that I use to claim photos. Uh, I mean, TBTC. You put your address there and boom, it should work out. And you confirm, you request, you receive your tokens like so. And I actually do recommend most of these websites, they would leave an address that you can send the tokens back to make sure that others can also use them, especially if you are done using or 
uh, you don't need them anymore or maybe you have too many, you can always send them to this address because there is a finite number of them. And if you have a lot of tokens you're not using, you're basically starving another person of testnet tokens. So basically that's it. You receive the tokens and now the activity of playing around on a blockchain to, to farm for airdrops can begin, which we will, I will show you in the next video. If you appreciate this video, remember to subscribe, like the video, and do not forget to create a trading account on our sponsor's platform, CoinW. These guys, they have an incredible trading platform and they, they list a lot of the newer tokens, including Ordinals, and also they actually give you welcome bonus up to a few thousand dollars, depending on how much you're going to deposit and start trading with. They also have ETFs, BRC20 tokens, and even DRC20 tokens. So there's so much you can do with this platform and it doesn't require you to do KYC to be able to to create an account, start trading and withdraw. You can do it completely without KYC, KYC whatsoever. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.